uh, it's my privilege today to be introducing uh, to you guys the R18E. It's our first compact electric excavator that we're introducing to the market. We don't expect to launch this machine um, maybe as early as 2022, but we wanted to bring it out here today to kind of show everybody about Hyundai's uh, cutting edge, tomorrow's edge today. So uh, you can. You probably can't hear it right now, but the machine is on. I'm going to be operating and giving you a little bit more information. So a little bit about the uh, electric fad, I guess, or a uh, new trend that's coming out here. We've seen it on uh, automobiles, and now you're seeing it in a lot of machinery. A lot of our competition has been releasing it, so we thought it'd be nice to have the machine brought from Korea, designed, engineered in Korea, and uh, have it shown at the public uh, today. So it's an easy process to get started up. The machine has an induction type motor with a one hour current rating of 225 amps. I am live right now, so a few things about the machine. It's got a seven foot, 11 inch dig depth. I'm not gonna be able to dig on the machine right now because I'm on a wooden platform with a little bit of uh, fake material around. So another thing that's neat about it, it's got a 13 foot dig depth. And if, as you can see right now, I'm operating at about a thousand RPMs and I can boost that all the way up to 2000 RPMs little above 2000 so the quicker or the more the rpms the uh, quicker the machine moves you can hear the pumps one uh, key feature about this electric type of machine is um, the quietness of course it goes anywhere from five decibels to 75 so the faster i react the quicker it goes and the louder it gets um, it's uh, one of the machines that has been really popular across Europe. Of course, you know, with uh, them being a little bit more advanced when it comes to stage uh, emission controls and also uh, diesel controls, it's uh, something that we plan to develop in the next few years. We also are in collaboration with uh, Cummings and coming out with a three and a half ton. Of course, this machine, as I mentioned earlier, is a 1.8 ton, 4,000 pound operating capacity. Um, that uh, really isn't a big market in the compact excavator size, but still, you know, it, given it that niche application, we've gained a lot of interest for indoors, uh, out, indoors applications, basements, metro subways, uh, indoor pools. Um, so there's really uh, an interest for it right now. We're just wanting to see what the demand out there for it is, and uh, we anticipate to have uh, full production as soon as that demand comes to us. So if uh, you guys want to join me, I'm going to walk behind me and show you guys the HX85H. You're going to notice a different color on the arm and the boom. It is now a green dark compared to our traditional yellow. Uh, the neat feature about the HX85A, it complements the 8 to 9 ton class range for Hyundai. We've included a four-way dozer instead of the two-way that we had as standard before. You've got the thumb bracket already in the arm. You've got the six-foot lever arm. This is the tallest arm that we offer. We can also go to a five-foot, but we've seen a bigger interest for the longer foot arms. Also, there is going to be ribbing and protection for the arm, which is something pretty neat that a lot of those mini compact excavators don't have. Uh, it is combined with the dual pin coupler offered by Hyundai. And of course, the one our piece. Uh, the cabin of the machine has gotten significantly bigger. That's uh, one of big thing about that. And we've been hearing from a lot of customers and feedback has been positive about it. We've improved stability as well. The tracks have gotten a little bit wider. It's uh, not only the rubber, but the undercarriage itself. The dozer actually comes off a little bit further than the competition, so that gives them that stability, whether they're dozing or using it as a support system. It is powered by a 66 horsepower Yanmar engine, and as I mentioned, it's got a new aesthetic look to it, so if you guys want to walk around the machine, take a look at it, you'll notice a pretty big difference compared to our traditional line of uh, mini excavators. So again, thanks for coming, and uh, we'll take any questions, I think, at the end of uh, the meeting.